and all the housing associations, they might have started off with goodwill, but they ended up like private companies making money. They started up from people who really cared about providing housing, and housing associations are still trading on that. If you look at FTSE 100 companies, if they had operating margins at the levels that housing associations do, they would be touted as you know magic companies. In 2018-19, the median operating margin was 25.5%. The amount of housing that, that has been sold off is greater than the amount of social rented housing that they built. They will be building some. In the last five years, 165,000 social homes have been lost and not replaced by the housing association sector. When a tenant dies or when a tenant leaves their home, a social rent home, they put up the rent to affordable rent, which is 80%. A market rent. It's kind of Orwellian housing speak, if you like, really, rather than telling you what it is. So whenever you hear affordable housing, it's best to think to put the brackets on affordable in front of it. A lot of council homes were lost through the transfer of council housing through large-scale voluntary transfers into housing associations. These are homes that should be let to families, they're in perfectly good condition, they should be let to the families in need, but are actually going to be sold to anybody who wants to snap them up and let them out as landlords on the private market. Managers hide behind housing officers, housing officers hide behind customer services. Members, not customers. A conference which is about resident involvement with no actual residents involved. We've had two conferences, one after the other, with charges going for 350 up to 580 pounds. You're making money out of residents by not dealing with the real issues. That's the problem. You can argue that, or you can I'm argue arguing, we I'm are. I'm just telling you, this is what's okay. going on. Apart from you don't invite resident organisations. It, 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 the high prices exclude resident organisations. The average household spend on groceries is £3,150 a year. Yet these social landlords think it's acceptable to spend more than that on a seat, on a seat at a table, in a water ceremony. Yeah, well, some of them look at you as if, if it, it, it's something off the bottom of their shoe. We've had years of pay in housing associations lagging behind inflation, despite uh, these housing associations breaking in absolutely massive surpluses. Catalyst's chief executive was asked why they didn't recognise trade unions. He explained it was because they were better able to hear the voice of their workers by not recognising trade unions. Our rates keep going up and our services keep going down and there's no, no excuse for that. Anybody are making enormous profits when they should be a social housing organisation that's there for its tenants, not for profit.
From the point of view of the banks and the people that wanted to make money out of investing in housing, they got what they wanted. And in some ways, rather than having, you know, on your estate, the office door being BlackRock, you know, run from Wall Street, it's probably politically better to have some anodyne name of a housing association uh, on that name board. More than three years since the Grenfell Tower fire, some Londoners are still finding out that they have potentially dangerous cladding. I haven't really slept properly, just worrying about not only um, whether I have to pay to fix this and, and whether I might go bankrupt or maybe lose my flat, um, but also the fact that it's, it just really doesn't feel safe um, being here. The block now has a 24-hour patrol walking the corridors to tell residents immediately if there's a fire, known as a waking watch. This is Clarion. They've put this blue hoarding up around here. This is this is land that just belongs to the council. So they've obviously contacted the council to ask permission. Um, but they're actually this is going to be a site office for removing the cladding off the building. We have this brick um, and ceramic tiles and uh, wooden cladding, wooden sort of boards. So this is what has been deemed as unsafe to be on this building. As yet, Clarion have not engaged with us on specifically what's happening, when it's happening and how it's happening. So I'm still quite in the dark about that. Nothing about cost and nothing about repayment. We're organising ourselves with a um, social housing action campaign so that we can challenge our landlord, whether we do a service charge strike, a rent strike, a petition, um, launch some legal action against them, um, expose them to the media. Try to do and get organised yourself and then definitely send a delegate to Shack. If it is impossible, join Shack on your own. Just get that backing. Just sit in on meetings, listen, listen to others, um, put your case forward and um, we will all help you through. We feel that we have to do something because if you don't do anything, all you're doing is you're just, you're keeping in the hamster wheel of housing stress. For the workers as well, because they go through the same because of the male functioning of one housing group or Clarion, or if we get it, they get it for sure. We're both fighting for the same thing. We both actually need the same things, which is, you know, you know a, a uh, housing association that cares about the welfare of its tenants and the welfare of its staff. Yeah? And e you know, any moves towards either of those will, will be complementary to the other got staff who for three, four, five years have never had a pay rise, not even deep in place with inflation. And it never ends up with a reduction in service charges or rent no, for our no. frontline tenants. So, um, you know, it's, it's bad for both sides and, and we're really proud that we've been able to bring people together, the tenants, the service users and the workers, to, to act jointly on this. And we're going to keep going until we end this trend right across the sector. So that's us.